Welcome guys. Today got a very special test for you and that's actually going to be comparing the Mizuno MP5s from last year and then this year's JPX 900 Tours. Now to put in perspective here just really quick, I am a Mizuno staffer, that's why we're kind of just comparing the two Mizuno clubs. I haven't played the MP5s last year, I actually played the MP25s. This year I was convinced to switch to the JPX 900 Tours, so I really wanted to just do a comparison, kind of check on spin numbers. We're going to use the same Modus uh, NS Pro 105 Tours in both sets, uh, just to kind of see what kind of differences we're going to get in distance, what kind of differences we're going to get in spin numbers, and then especially the big thing that everybody out there wants to know, well, are both of these blades or are they not really blades? Again, I'm not the best ball striker in the world, that's why last year I actually played the 25s. So I'll be interested to see exactly what happens with uh, these more blade type clubs that Mizuno is saying a lot about how they're not really quite a blade, but they have the traditional look of a blade. So I'm going to hit a bunch of shots here, give you guys my opinion, and then we'll show you some of the numbers and you guys can make a decision for yourself which one might be better for your game. So let's take a few shots and see what happens. All right guys, so I took five shots with each club and we got my numbers up here on the simulator. So I'm just gonna go through a few of them to kind of show you what I saw uh, with the purely the numbers of these two clubs, where we saw the difference. So I'm gonna start with ball speed. With the MP5, I actually averaged 118.7. And then with the JPX 900 Tour, I averaged 123.5. So there's a good five mile an hour difference in ball speed between the MP5 and the 900 Tours. Now, I will say this, uh, that's not necessarily a determining factor. That doesn't mean that the 900 Tour is just that much better than everything else. I very well could have just hit my 900 tours a little bit more solid um, than I did, say, the MP5s. So we're gonna move down and we're gonna look at a couple other numbers here to see what they also did so we can kind of get a whole picture here. Now this is the one that I actually thought was interesting. Like I said, it was the same exact shaft in the two clubs. And when we look at my spin numbers, I average 5,400, almost 5,500 RPMs but my average was actually only six RPMs difference between the two clubs, and that's for my average. So I actually hit, hit pretty much every golf ball similar. I, my last one on each, uh, each club was way better than the other four, but you can actually see my averages stayed pretty darn similar. I was very impressed to see that. Now this spin number does look maybe just a little bit low for a six iron, but you gotta remember we're hitting off of a mat um, when we go out to the grass, we're going to see some different numbers as well. And then obviously total carry distance here. So this is a big one. I averaged, uh, we'll round up to 174 carry on the MP5s and I averaged 183 with the JPX 900 Tours. Now if I had to say when I go out onto a golf course, the 6 iron is probably close to that 183 carry for myself. So that's right around where I, was, I would probably expect to see it. Now the question becomes, why was the carry distance a little bit different? Almost 10, uh, nine, we'll call it nine yards difference. So why was it nine yards different for the MP5 in comparison to the JPX 900 Tour? And again, we're gonna go back to 10 yards is a pretty big difference here. So where did it come from? Well again, if we look at these ball speed numbers, obviously averaging five miles an hour uh, faster ball speed with my 900 tours, that would produce about a 10 yard difference over there. So this just goes to show you that both clubs are great options, but strike is king. I probably struck maybe the 900 tours just a little bit better. I, like I said, I hit the last one on both of them really well. 
Um, so if we just look at the last, the fifth swing for both sets of clubs, that might give us a better comparison because like I said I hit both of those pretty darn solid uh, pretty much on the screws right where I would expect to hit them. So if we look at just the last one on each of these, ball speed was 122.1 with the MP5 and then with the 900 Tour it was 121.1. So uh, effectively exactly the same. We were less than a mile an hour, uh, probably right at a mile an hour difference there. And then same thing if we go to the spin numbers now, I was uh, 5,550 with the MP5 and then with the uh, JPX 900 Tour I was 5,834. So a little bit of a difference there. That might be something to keep in mind here. I tend to spin the ball a little bit lower. I like to spin the golf ball a little bit more. So leaning a little bit more towards those 900 Tours right now. And then of course the carry distance here. So the last one with the MP5 I carried it 178. And then with the last one here, I carried it 177, we'll round up. So two yard difference in those. And again, that little bit of spin might have something to do with that loss in distance there. Again, only a couple of yards, so not a huge difference there. Overall, I would say that these two clubs are actually very comparable. Now again, the real question comes down to how do they compare in relationship to say an MP25 or a cavity back? And again, I gotta put this in perspective. I'm not the best ball striker in the world. I'm pretty good uh, in comparison to maybe some other higher handicaps, but in comparison to other professionals, not the best ball striker in the world. And that's where I would say the 900 Tour kind of takes off in comparison. I think miss hits on the 900 Tour are a little bit better, maybe carry distance stays a little bit closer to what they should, or my spin numbers might stay a little bit closer to where they should with the miss hits on the 900 Tour. In comparison, the MP5, there was definitely a feel difference in the miss hits. I could feel exactly where I was kind of hitting on the face. I would say the MP5 is just that, it's, it's a traditional MP series. And I understand what Mizuno says with some of the weighting that they do uh, to try and get it to feel more like a traditional cavity back. But the truth of the matter is, this is still their blade head. It's definitely still not quite the MP25s or a cavity back feel. Now, when I go to the 900 Tours, the, the exact feel difference is a little bit different. The MP5s are obviously a little bit softer. The 900 Tours, um, they are still grain flow forged, but I don't know if it's the finish, what it is, but they definitely uh, have a little bit harder of a feeling to the face. Um, not so much that it feels like a cast face or like a ping or anything like that. Still a very soft Mizuno type feel, but I got I to gotta admit, I really enjoy the 900 Tour feel, contact, the consistency of it as well. I think uh, I've gotten to hit these out on the golf course a few times now, and I gotta say, I think as far as performance goes, they feel a lot like my MP25s, which I'm super excited about because that was one of my favorite irons that I ever owned. So they definitely feel a little bit more like the 25s as far as forgiveness go on off-center hits. Numbers stay pretty similar, so I was really happy to see that. And then the MP5s, well, that's more your traditional blade. I think they actually play a little bit more like a blade than maybe Mizuno wants to admit. Um, and as far as the looks go, very, very similar head shape, similar head size. I would almost uh, venture to say that the, the 900 Tours are maybe even just a little bit smaller of a head. Uh, top line might be a little bit thicker, but again, overall performance, really impressed to see how close they were. Uh, even though the feel of the two were very different here. So hopefully this helps out guys. Give these two clubs a shot. You're gonna love either one of them that you end up getting. The whole Mizuno line, the JPX line, and the MP lines are incredible. Highly recommend you checking them out. They do have very subtle differences, so make sure you try out a few different uh, head shaft combinations. Find which one, which one works best for you guys. Hopefully this will help. Hopefully it helps you have a little more fun out there. Enjoy guys.